Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne here, and it is Friday, which means it's another day for basics. Now, even though I would like to do many Chinese variations uh, in the basic series today, I think we're going to go ahead and just do a blanket idea of Chinese variations, starting with the low. Reason being is if I'm black, then I can go ahead and throw down a low, and chances are my opponent can't really do anything about it, rather than have to play game after game after game trying to spam mini Chinese and hope my opponent just doesn't pincer me. Alright, change of plans, we are here on KGS quite clearly, and we are white, which means that we will not be playing Chinese uh, this particular Basics Friday, at least not in this game. But we always try and do two games nowadays in our Basics series, so maybe the second game we'll have Chinese for now, we have to just go and improvise and see what we're going to do. I'm uh, going to treat this fairly normally, we've got a 4-4-3-4 stone, because he did dual 4-4s, and I don't really want to play the same thing that he did. Now, he's approached low here. I'm going to play my favorite pincer just because it has a nice little maintain uh, relationship here with a uh, nice high to low extension. If I back off here in the future, that'd be kind of nice, while maintaining some pressure on this stone. He's leaning on me, so I'm going to respond. I don't want him to surround my stones. Go, as I keep saying in almost every video that I do nowadays, is called the surrounding game, and that's something that you usually want to avoid having done to you. This pin, this um, push through here is actually not a good idea. You could just go ahead and play here normally, and we definitely don't do this because I can go ahead and push and hide ahead of hunt it ahead of two and three stones, leading to a very very bad thing. General rule of thumb here is unless you're going to cut, do not push because you are getting rid of Aji. Now one thing I do want to make, uh, yeah, see now this I can actually probably go through here because he's blocked the notion that this is going to be a problem. I can go do 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 uh do do and then kind of like bring that back. I don't know. Tell you what, we're just going to go ahead and admit that that is just way too small to care about. I think that's where we are with this. So let's go ahead and just uh, save this little stone. Well, not save it. It hasn't, not, hasn't been saved just yet. But we are strengthening and forcing him to play over here, and then we'll play over here. reason for this move and not uh, something over here or here is because we are acknowledging the influence and that our stone over here is a little bit close to our influence. So even though this is technically one line shorter than like this area, we're prioritizing the fact that we are in a little bit of danger here. We're respecting that. Um, I'm going to respect this one too because he can go here and then try and run me out, which I just don't want him to do. So we're taking care of all of our weak things, first and foremost. That trumps almost all of like the what to do next questions. Like where is a large group? I don't know, where, where are the weak groups? Where, where are the weak groups? Find, find the weak groups. Is this the largest point? I don't know, where are the weak groups? Can I play here to grow an area? I don't know, where are the weak groups? All right, so he's jumping himself into a pincer. Uh, that is completely A-OK -okay in my book. There's a lot of things that I could do here, depending on how aggressive I want to be. I could go ahead and just shoulder hit this. He hanes, I hane, I cut him, and then he just kind of sacrifices this. Mm, whatever. Um, that's actually probably the best answer that we can play here, but it feels a little bit aggressive, and it feels like it's not basic. Hmm. Fails, yeah, it really does feel that way, doesn't it? So tell you what, we are going to jump out, really? That is such a slow move. But that's okay, we're going to look after our weak group, which is that one. There's just no denying it. I don't want to play here because I don't think 10 Qs, 5 Qs are going to play the uh, shoulder hit in order to deal with this. I really don't. So let's go ahead and jump out. We're behind enemy lines, which is why we jumped out here. Oh look, someone who wants to die. See, this part is the thing that really gets you annoyed because uh, this, like, we're looking after our weak groups. He clearly is not because he's going to be running this group away. And um, this immediate, yeah, see? The minute we jump, there are two places he has to play. Here and here. So... All right, jump. 
Just like that. Just like that. No more difficult than that. You try and have two groups living in the same place simultaneously, guess what happens to them? Guess what happens to him? Now he's, att he's attaching to me, making me stronger on the outside. The longer he keeps this up, the less I'll care if he even lives. Because if he's going to give me a nice, uh, strong base or whatever, I mean, I'm down. He's going to probably play here and I'm going to cut him. Do, 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 do. Now, I know what I said. Basic series, we do not kill. I hear you. I really do. And you know, for the most part, I agree. For the most part, I agree, 100%. But there are some things you just can't let people get away with. You know, if someone, for example, yeah, I'm thinking, I admit it. Well, this is going to be a bit more complicated than I'm giving it credit for, I think. I should probably just play here. This is the easiest one. This has better shape. Like, if I play here, he's going to push, and he's going to push, and then he's going to Atari. <sighs> then he's probably going to play, like, in here or something. I mean, he doesn't kill you, but I think I can probably ignore all that crap just by playing this one. Tell you what, let's go that way. I don't care. This is fine. Whatever. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Attachment. Probably a tower here and try to run that out now. <clears throat> like, fundamentally, you just don't do this. You just don't. Group, you defend weak groups. We defended weak groups. We defended weak groups. And the reason why we do that is because we know that if you don't defend a weak group, then all you're saying is, you know what? I bet my opponent sucks. It's like, wait, what? It's like, yeah. My opponent, he just sucks. He can't do anything to me. I bet he's just trash. He can't attack me. Who cares if I'm weak? Who cares if I, have, if I don't have an eye? Or a base? Or if I'm out? None of that even matters. Doesn't. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Getting an eye here. Then we're getting an eye here. He'll probably try and throw and kill me. Doesn't quite work. This is why, in the basic series, we try and play honest go. If something's weak, we're going to defend it. If there's a large point, we're going to take it. And we're going to do it in order. Do you like... Yeah, see, I knew it was going to do that. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Problem is, can this, does this really work? If I play here and he cuts, what's he going to do if I play here? Hmm. Hmm. If I play here, he plays there, he's going to go underneath, then he's going to die. So unfortunately, this doesn't work. Regretfully. That's... That, 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 that is a bit more interesting. This requires a few more annoying moves. But tell you what, that's fine too. Yeah, this is okay. It's a bit more complicated because I'm going to play here. It's a bit more complicated, but in the end it's going to be fine. We're going to throw in here and then turn to play there and kill him. A little bit more complicated, admittedly. Yeah. First things first, we're going to Atari. Uh, I don't know if we need this move, but I'm going to play it because I'm bad at this game. And I just, I just feel like playing the moves that I'm mostly certain of. So here's the here's thing that's really cruel. Couldn't cruel? <laughs> That's not the word I meant to use. Really cool. Like, if I want to, we've got what? If I play here, it got one, two, three, four, five, six liberties, right? So if I play here, how many does it take to, to capture me? 
He has to fill this to capture me. He has to fill this to capture me. Um, I'm going to Atari here, I think. So we're going to play here, I think. I think this this captures him. One eye versus no eye. Basic straight up EV. Easy peasy. We play here, we'll probably play there, we'll play there. This is just a bamboo joint, that doesn't matter. Actually, it was really bad. If I wanted to go to a co, I could. Like here, 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 into that kind of deal. Uh, I don't. I think I'm just going to go ahead and play here. And then what's he going to do? He's going to play this one, and I play this one. Yeah, just make it one eye noise. Should be fine. Because he has to fill this, 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 that in order to capture me. And this one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, like right there before getting into these things. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This does not have eleven liberties. One eye versus no eye. Hmm. That went down the wrong way. Oh god, that hurts. Alright, so mm -hmm. and as a little added bonus, you can see the throw in here offers the emergency out. Okay, so Atari this way, and Atari this way. And at that point, what happens to these two liberty did these two? It has, to, it has to go way far away in order to not be dead. So there's just like a hundred different ways that we're fine here. Question is, will he try to keep playing? I think he has to go after this one. I don't think he has a choice anymore. He has to Atari here and then extend and see what he does. Now the question is, do you find folks know what we're going to do there? If he does this one into this one, how do we play? Because we have two options, two fundamental options. We can go this way and push him out, or we can go this way and push him in and uh, squeeze him, right? Like here, 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 take, Atari, uh, fill. Which one's better? Which one's better? That's the question. Because after that's done, we have to go and bring the stone out, right? And that's the hint. That's the hint on which one's better. Like after this, whatever we do with this, we have to bring this out. So if we bring this out, maybe reducing a liberty here is better because we are in a liberty race, right? I will do it. Maybe that one's the best. Maybe that's the best one. I'll go back and show the difficulty here later on in the game. Cause I think he could have probably kept this as a game if he just went after the influence here and tried to develop in exchange for these stones over here. Because it's always about attacking for profit. Once we acknowledge these stones are dead, the question is how can we profit from the exchange? And we've got this, we've got we had this. So we have ways to get influence here, right? Even if it's not in Gote, that gives you potential in the game. So we don't resign yet just because we lost a bunch of stones. But now he's getting rid of the Aja that he had. So, uh, so he can go here. We'll go here. He can go here. We'll go here. Okay, so he's arrived at the same conclusion. These stones are dead as dead can be. So let's just go ahead and approach. This is wider than this side now, right? Because this stone is over here and this stone is literally halfway across. Don't jump up because we don't do jump ups. Just take some more territory and put him further behind. Because now he's got this for profit. And this is low. After that, we'll show you another invasion in the upper right-hand corner. So another invasion point is here, because we can threaten to go into the corner, or we can just come on out, which is very nice. Uh, 
Um, so here we could go over here and wedge. Some people do that because they feel like they wedge Atari Connect, Connect, Extend for free and then jump. Only the problem is there's uh, variations here that allow them to Atari on this side, so you can't really assume which direction your opponent's going to Atari. And even though there are variations for both, let's just do the simpler one and just extend. And then we're going to extend here. All right, so now I'm going to also attach because we're just trying to live, so we're just trying to borrow strength in order to do that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you a trick here in order to help yourself living. I'm going to clamp. He's going to block me here. I'm going to Atari on the inside to draw him over here to connect. Then he has to save this stone or capture it. So I get that in for free and I can come out still. So all we're doing is just trying to live. Yeah, see how we can do that and then pretty much just um, how we're almost alive from that? Isn't that kind of nice? Uh, instead though, I'm going to go and do something a little bit different now. And that is come on out. Gonna poke. Okay. Um, so this should be an easy way of coming out. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and play here now. That should work. Because he can't play the stun anymore to try to keep me low. If he does, it dies. Did that just say if I if he did this, it dies? I said that right. I did. So we got just enough shape here to make shape. Wasn't that easy? Wasn't that really easy? And that was a really easy way of um, living here without having to run away. Normally you should come out first. Normally you should come out first, but here we decided to go ahead and just show uh, showcase that little thing. Uh, unfortunately, there's no easy way of connecting these stones, so he's in trouble. This can't actually connect to the stone. If he does this one, we push through, and then there's like the cut for free. If he does this one, there's the Atari. There's the push in the Atari. So now he's looking for what shape he wants to make to try and... Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you why we can't play this way. Why uh, shape really matters here. Because this is very, very dangerous. Because you can see this, right? Which allows me to play here. Now if he Atari's me down, these stones are dead. If he Atari's me over, this is an Atari, and then these stones are dead. So all he can do is just sacrifice that entire corner now. So we got more... We're going to take more for ourselves here because of his bad shape. Um, the next obvious place to attack him is where? I think this one for endgame purposes. Yeah, this one for endgame purposes is great because of the clamp. So let's go ahead and get that in. He's thinking about ignoring it, which would be a mistake. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt here, but I'm not sure that was a thing. But I'll, I'll, I'm not going to make the same mistake he's missing, that he's making, and I'm going to actually um, defend my group. I don't... I don't know what he's doing here. I'll just connect, I guess. Also, this is a large knight. 
Uh, I'm not going to say it has uh, problems, just just pointing out that maybe it's not as secure as he thinks it is. So we connect here to help this, it also activates the cutting point over here. I will go ahead and play here just to uh, point out that I'm serious about this cutting point and this one too. See, that's not really helpful. I can play here and I can still play this one. This one's really dangerous. So his shape's very, very off. Like you can see we can throw in here because it pokes at this one. Yeah, we can still do that though, I think. Doesn't matter. Um, For now, let's go and play some large moves. Um, some large moves. Prevents him from playing the Atari here. And then ask him if he's really serious about what he just played down here. Because he didn't protect. He did not protect. So he's saying that these forcing moves that I have don't matter. He's saying that these forcing moves right here do not matter. What do you think about that, guys? Is that uh, something that's true? Do forcing moves just not matter? What do you think? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Because I think they matter. I really do. I really think they matter. You see how we're maximizing our Aji? See how we've maximized all of our Aji? All right, he now has to kill me. It's pretty tough to do, don't you think? Because I have ways to get more shape. Hmm, I like I like this attempt. I like this attempt. Try to counterattack. I like it a lot. Um, there's a problem with it though. We're gonna take. This one, I think. Now we got that one in Sente. And now if he plays here, we can go here. And then drop down. And then we always have this, right? So that was Gote. So we're going to go and play here instead. The question was, could you kill this? Not, could you kill this? That was a very, very important question. Super important, super important. I'm um, not sure what the right move is here. I'm going to play this one and hope it's hope is correct. I think it is because this one immediately goes and makes my uh, eyes secured. I will play here. He can play there. I play there. I don't see how he gets rid of this one and this one. So I think we're okay. Can I just play this one? Looks like I can, right? Yeah, let's go and play here. 
He'll push up through here, and then he has to connect, and then I just play there. So we're live. So we get the eye here, which is great. We look a little bit of a me eye situation there. And now we're live. So I kind of took this uh, game. We weren't able to play a uh, Chinese variation. So I wanted to use this to showcase invasions. Like we looked at his invasion. We performed our own invasion. We performed our own invasion and showed why, you know, forcing moves matter and why you need to not overestimate how much or underestimate how much Aji your opponent has if you blatantly ignored their attempts to invade you. Like in both instances, he ignored us. Like, look, come back and look at this. Come back and look at this. I made this exchange saying, I believe there's something here, especially because this group only has three liberties, so I've got some forcing moves here. He said that was not true. Hmm. Well, that sounds suspicious. So I asked, are you sure? He said, yes. And I asked, are you sure? He said, yes. And now we get forcing moves here, and we get forcing moves here, and we get forcing moves here, and here. At that point, I mean, that's... We're really close to just being not dead now, right? So maybe... <laughs> Thanks for the follow person who followed me while I was offline or not streaming rather So that seems a little bit a little bit sketchy Let's look at some other uh, honest moves that he kind of got wrong This is completely okay to leave after this with the knowledge that this oops With the knowledge that this might be yours later on in exchange for the two stones two free stones for white playing elsewhere Push don't push unless you're gonna cut we defend, we defend, and then rather than block my extension or take his extension, he went into the, what is actually the smallest area on this board, short of playing a move up top. So in basics, we know that this is not the right thing to do. We want to play on the larger side or the larger side. Now, this way I do want to point out, this is slightly a better way of playing. Because if he plays this way, we can go ahead and just do this. And it's not the end of the world here. Because we get a lot in Sente, right? In exchange for this one stone, we can kill this stone off and get Sente to play a much larger move. This would be completely fine. If we wanted to keep him running, we could also keep playing this because this is his shape now. Because he invaded that area, he is now something straight out of Tetris. And that's not usually a good thing because there's no real good way of handling this. Like you can keep extending here, but you're never attacking this. This group that you were, this stone you were hoping to attack, it's never gonna be counterattacked. I mean, look how strong this is making, getting made, made uh, your every move. Meanwhile, you're the weak group. Not white, not white, you are. So we play here, he needs to afford me courtesy and play this one. Now you might say, but that means you get to play a large move on the bottom of the board. And I would say, duh, that's why we don't do this. So he tried to do both simultaneously. We just split them. He defends one, we cap the other. If he played here, we would have played here. Very basic, very straightforward. This move probably should have been played here, by the way. 
now that I look at it again, this would have been stronger, I think. I like that a little bit better. This could have also been played here. And then if he plays this one, we could just take this one. And uh, not been too unhappy. So this looked uh, like it got a little bit difficult, but it really isn't as long as you believe in your uh, forcing moves. Right? Now he could have played here. I'll grant that. I'll grant that. Play here and then play here. And then he's got... He's got uh, a bit of a capture race going on here, right? Not really. We play here, he has to play here. Play here, he has to play here. So can he kill me? No. As long as we're careful. Look at all these extra forcing moves. And you can see what I meant in the earlier when I said he had to be careful about this, because if, like I said, we extend this out, it's troubling, right? Not right now, clearly, but in the other situation. So here we just take the largest area, because we try to adhere to basics. Here, same thing. Now normally we would play a move like this maybe to come out because this isn't too bad. We're out now. Right? I thought I wanted to showcase how you can live in an emergency situation just by getting a couple of forcing moves. Like that is all we needed. Block this, don't block this, and I retreat and I leave. Don't block this, and the same thing happens. Right? Pretty easy. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Gotta love it. Um, can't try to kill this. Um... Let's say I'm not alive here. You see how my earlier moves created Aji? Like he can't block that right now. Otherwise he's gonna be in a very, very bad situation. You know? And we don't even have to read all that out. You just kind of trust that your shape. Like he's got, he's trying to kill me with a group that's four liberties. And he's trying to kill me with small knights. We could have gone this way too. Right? Something like this. Or this. Here classic weak points. I mean, he's got, look how many cut points he has here. Look how many, just count them with me. Cut point, cut point, that's two. Cut point, cut point, cut point. So many cutting points. And he has no time to defend them. He defended that one, we took this one. He had to give up this one, so we just kept trying to make something here. I have Sente. Actually, he might be able to play this one, I don't know. Let's say he can. So this right now is the area that he's trying to uh, live with. And according to the score estimator, um, he currently has... He's got some territory, but not enough. Not enough. 
The series is large, don't get me wrong. But unfortunately, we have Sente. So we're just going to keep on shuffling with that end game, that beautiful, beautiful end game. And we should be okay. Instead, he tried to take end game and take all these large points immediately, which, since he's behind, okay, I understand. But that left a nuclear option in his own area. And then that's just end of the game. Guess he could play here. Hmm. Maybe? Yeah, that'd be dead. Huh. Oh, wait, the cut doesn't matter. Never mind. Yeah, the cut doesn't matter. We could actually play, what, this one now? Yeah. Yeah, there are ways to live in there. So he tried to kill me there, and then that happened. So, not a bad uh, game is white here. We'll try to get a game is black and go back to more Chinese. Alright, so here we are on Foxy. So we meant to set up my uh, board, but we did it. This is now the low Chinese, which is referred to as a Sherwin strategy. It's on the top of the board because I misclicked my first stone. <laughs> That's a great way to start. He's going ahead and going into a very tight area, so we will go ahead and pincer him. Not pincer him, we will kick him because he's already pincered. And we'll play like so. He'll get a base, and we'll lean on him like so. This threatens to completely surround him, which is very, very big, and he's considering ignoring it, hence his delay. All right. So he's allowed me to kill him in the beginning of the game. That's excellent. I like it. That's a great way to start a match. You see how we're just enclosing him? Because he's not alive in the corner. He's not alive here either. Uh, I don't care if he lives there. He's allowed me to surround him. And go is called, say it with me now, the surrounding game. If you've learned nothing else from my from my videos, please understand the strength of surrounding things. If you've learned nothing else, learn how important it is to surround things and not let yourself be surrounded. We're not letting him get the free Atari on us because that's insanity. All right, so it looks like his plan A is to run away really, really quickly. My plan is to ruin his shape and everything he thought he was trying to do. So I can't do this one because of Atari, so we're gonna do this one instead. And do you know what we're gonna do here? If you guests around him, you burn yourself a cookie. Now, is he going to live here? He might. I will confess it is a distinct possibility. If you think I care, not so much. Atari. He has to connect. Yup. Man, the strength that we're getting out of this. Oof. Oof. We're solidifying this. We're giving a wall to the middle of the board. Oh, man. Let's end in Gote. Let's show the strength of this wall by ending in Gote. He can he can get first move on left hand side of the board. He can get first play. Look, I 
I said he can get first play. He can get first play. I want him to try to reduce this because I want to show you that like, well, you know, I'm getting all of this really solid influence, but is it really good if it's not Sente? I don't know. Can we please like just stop that? We're answering everything to give him Sente because I'm trying to show that like even if you even if it's in Gote, like influence like this is a ma seriously? Could you could you all right, chat. I I or I keep saying chat. I keep. Oh. I tried. I tried to show it. I tried. Forgive me. I have nowhere that I can adequately play right now. That's not blatantly just throwing Sente out the window. So we are going to go and extend. And we have we don't feel a need to play here because our area is so strong. So instead, we're just going to go ahead and jump out two space. Now when you do this, they're going to feel afraid of what you're doing. And so they're going to try to reduce you. Not leaving an Aji behind. If he's smart, he'll play somewhere around in here. The outer edge. Don't jump in. I like it. So, as always, when you're dealing with an area like this, you don't defend, you just keep reducing. And you keep surrounding. Right now we're surrounding the corner here. The benefit of that is this is new sector line that he's behind. Next largest area is over here, so we are going to approach like so. He's kicking everything, which is kind of confusing me. And now we're building up this area. See how we can ignore his invasion? They don't matter. They do not matter. Okay, he's giving me territory. I'll take it. He'll probably Atari down and connect. That's usually the way uh, people play this. It's, you're not supposed to. Don't do this. There was a legitimate invasion point here until he played this way. Ooh, shoot. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. We're still getting solid territory, so I mean, whatever, right? If we play here and he plays here, we can throw in and kill him. Um, I think he's alive now, but now he's opened the three-three invasion point. This ladder is fine. This ladder is fine, so we can just jump on out. It's gonna go ahead and connect. Uh, that doesn't look like it's connected solidly, so I'm going to push and cut it. Unless I want to play here instead. Yeah, he's not alive right now, is he? Like, if I play here, where is he going to play? Right? If he plays here, I play here. If he plays... Yeah, and if he played here, I could Atari. And then play this one, then extend. Um, hard to read out though, so I won't do it. Let's go ahead and cut through this instead. Because he's running with a small knight. And uh, small knights, as you are well aware of nowadays, they can be cut. Print cutting points, because again, cutting points are all the, all the rage, yo. I imagine Tiger's Mouth, which is why my mouth is hovering here. Yep. 
So now we're going to do some light poking just to connect this up and then surround this uh, corner. There's a throw in here he needs to be uh, very well aware of. Very well aware of. Very well aware of. Okay, I'll give him that one. I'm taking a smaller move, forcing him to live. Force him to defend his uh, groups. Set him a bit like that, connecting on up. Man, that corner can, that group can die. I don't think he realizes it, but it can. This one can die too by throwing in. Nope, he's unaware. Let's try to get him a little bit more honest with me here. He's trying to reduce me, which is silly because he's not alive yet. So I'm just trying to make him a little bit more of an honest person. Tell you what. Tell you what. I'm just going to lock him out of here. Whatever. I'm just going to lock him out. Yeah, I'll just lock him out and keep my corner nice and large. So where is his territory throughout all this? It's this area down here, which is susceptible to the monkey jump. This is his territory, the bottom left. Because again, same thing here, this is susceptible to all sorts of reductions. And this is just worth 2, 4, 6, 8. Give me an idea where two, four, six, eight is. Two, four, six. Get the idea. Meanwhile, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you. So seven, fourteen, twenty-one. You get the idea. We can threaten to save our stone. The reason why we're threatening that. Only, only purpose to threat that is to uh, secure this area's territory. I'm a little confused. Are you trying to kill yourself? There's not a single chance he read that out. I play here, he's going to have to try to kill me. I cut that, he's going to play here. I'm going to play here, he connects. I move up through, and guess what? If I have this, and I already have this, then I just play this, and these stones die. So once again, he's not reading out anything, unfortunately. Uh, and it's very, very bad here because I could I, I could kill those stones. I could have killed them. That's why your first instinct, if you're all uncertain, just don't do anything silly. Just be okay. Just be okay. Because if your opponent takes more than five seconds to read out your move, maybe he finds out that he can kill you. And that'd be bad. So there's no harm in just being like, you know what, I'm just going to be safe. Uh, fun facts. This move 
into this move. We probably can't kill it because he's got this and then I gotta go there or there. Yeah, I guess he's fine. I do want to play this one though. That'd be good. I'd like it. I'm really starting to hate this person. Hmm. I'm thinking about this. But I didn't kill it because this is Sentai. Oh well, at least I have Sentai in exchange for him reducing me like a couple of points. All right, let's reduce him. That doesn't actually work. But if he goes here, we just go there. He needed to play here. And if he goes here, we go here. So we're going to do endgame against this. Now you should probably play here. Because he needs to not be dead. He needs to not be dead. He needs to not be dead. Not being dead would be great. Not being dead would be really great. Come on, he's gotta play it. Right? Also, exchanging these makes sure that if I was at all uncertain about this move, there's also a co for it to connect underneath. That's actually not Okay, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and play here, why not? Make sure that's nice and filled. What else do we do? I kind of want to play here just to make sure that he's paying attention. Because if I play here and he plays elsewhere and I play here, he dies. Well, this has been a pretty good uh, basics game so far, so I don't really want to do that. I mean, as you can see by the score estimator, we're ahead by t uh, 17 points. I'll go ahead and make this exchange. Got a few points down here, which is good. Now, it's kind of weird, right? It doesn't look like we're ahead by 17 points, does it? Does it? it really, really doesn't. But the thing is, he doesn't have points. Like, this is worth nothing, this is worth nothing, this is worth nothing. He only has this and this in Comey, because he spent the entire bloody game just trying to reduce us. Like, that's all he tried to do. Right? That's it. That was that was goal number one. Just reduce. He just was like, no, 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 no. You can't have anything. But when you adopt that strategy, when you adopt that policy of just trying to not let have your opponent have anything, then you don't get anything either. Right? If you're just going around saying, no, 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 then you haven't said yes to anything. So all of these moves are just, they haven't, they haven't done anything for you other than just say no to your opponent. And that, oh, that's not a good move. And that doesn't give you territory. 
not a good move. He can live though, just give up these stones and you're fine. He plays here, I play. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. If I play here, he plays there, I play here, he's dead. But we're not gonna do it. I'll let him play here. I'm not gonna let him ruin a perfectly good basics game by killing him. Kind of ruins the point. Kind of ruins the point. Point is what I just mentioned. Simply being the person of no, of no, 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 means you've said yes to nothing. Which in turn means... Which in turn means you just don't get anything. Like when did you develop in this entire game? Really never. Like I played the Chinese. He came in wrong. I built up. And then after that, it was just emergency reduction after emergency reduction. Right? I'm not sure if this is actually worth it. It might be. Force him to play here, right? Like, I lose one point here, but he loses two because he lost this point, and he lost this point. Sure, sure. Shishu. Sure, sure. Uh, it's actually kind of triggering me that this move still exists and this move still exists. Mm. Thank you. Go for two for two, buddy. Live here. Because doot. Doot, 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 doot. False. Nice. Good job, good job, good job. Loving it, loving it, loving it. You get Sentai. I don't really want to look at Endgame anymore. It's a really bad reason to play like I did. Technically this is a large send game point probably. Don't think there was anything there, but okay. Mm -hmm. I'll have to play here if I don't get an eye up here. Because Atari, Atari, if all the Louis are all gone, then I can take that. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Owie! Not such a great move because once I play here, there's a snapback. He'll probably play this one to make sure he has an eye, and then all I'm going to do there is uh, poke. Doesn't work though, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and extend down, make sure I have territory, and then play maybe here or here. Probably gave him too much territory here. 
That's okay. I'll go ahead and poke here, make sure it doesn't do anything. And I'll poke this as well. And score estimator says, whoops. And score estimator says that we are up by 18.5, so it's all good. Only time I use score estimator is at the end of the game. Just to verify I shouldn't be resigning, I'm going to kill this. If he tries to actually live up there, it will die. But first I'm going to ask you guys a question. Where do you think you should play the uh, first move to kill? Now there are two things you should keep in mind when you're trying to guess your move. One, you are strong in the area, you can play anywhere you need to, because you can connect back or do whatever you need in order to make sure he's dead and minimize his space. So where is it? Where's it going to be? Where's it going to be? Where's it going to be? I'm actually going to play here. This is also fine. Behind it, you pull back. Running second line if necessary does not matter because he uh, can't live in here. So you can actually play away from here if you need to, but we won't. Let's go ahead and respond. And as you can see, he's dead. And no, people who are in comments do not say that, well, if this was a really a basics video, you would have let him live up there. No, you really wouldn't. Not something this unreasonable, I'm afraid. Sorry. That's not a real eye. Neither is that. So the upper right corner stays nice and dead. That is a valid move. So he plays there. I'm actually going to play this one to make sure I don't have to play over here ever. I mean, this is worth two points, and this is worth two points, so it's pretty neutral, I think. But we'll take 10 to take an extra point, and I think that uh, then therefore ends in my favor. Okay. Let me go ahead and connect here in case he tries doing weird shenanigans by involving like the throw and then the cuts here. That should completely get rid of that idea. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, I'll go ahead and pawn it here and then connect. This is also worth uh, some pointies. Do, 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 do. All right, so I'm gonna go ask the count because I think we're done with this game now. Yeah, I think so. I asked the count. He's thinking about it. He declined, all right, whatever. I'll go ahead Phil Dame until he's bored. I mean, we can fill the rest of Dami if he wants to. It's okay. He's going to lose on time. He's going to let his time run out?
I never understand why people do this. I mean, maybe when, like, Internet Go first became a thing, you could, like, convince other people, like, oh, no, I'm just bad at time management. That's why I've got so many losses on time. But nowadays, we're veterans of the Internet. We know people do this. Everyone knows people do this. If they look at your record and they see a bunch of losses on time, you're not fooling anyone, right? If that's what this guy is doing, then I'm sorry, but you're not fooling anyone. Everybody knows what those losses really were. It's like, hmm, you seem to lose on time a lot at the end of the game. It's, it's very strange. Hey, am I all one group? I am. Now I could try and get an extra point because I know it doesn't it's not gonna work. Dun, 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 dun. I mean this is not Chinese counting, so endgame or uh, dominate does not actually matter. Alright, that was the last dominate point. Can we please agree to count now? Maybe? We can. Alright, I win by 18 points. Oh, I forgot we also bet on the game. He wanted about 100k, so I accepted. Uh, so that was a thing. Let's go ahead and do the game. So this is how you do not... Uh, well, I guess you can. I guess this is, was kind of a thing for a while. You could play here if you really want to reduce the Chinese like this. It's just kind of fallen out of style. Nowadays, we want to play the, if we want to go against Chinese, we could do two things. This is uh, acceptable still, and just playing this way is fine. This, not that. This is also fine. This is a bit more complicated, though, as we can see here. Probing. If they play here, we can play away. Because this doesn't really require an immediate response. Because this is a huge in terms of not dying. Not that one, though. <laughs> there we go. At the very least, we can make this eye here thingy. So we can't actually die up here. If they drop straight down, then usually we connect. Make sure we're alive here. However, some people still say you don't have to do that. You could play here, because if they play here, then you play here. And if they move to kill you, then you just take another large point elsewhere. Right? So you give up a corner for playing a lot of large moves elsewhere. That's a thing people sometimes say as well. So he played this way, and then he tried to live... He did this twice, didn't he? Like, he played here, and then instantly tried to live on two sides. Like, our, our last opponent played there that way, too. So, people say, like, you know, KGS. Um, we had a 2Q that we played, 3Q, something like that. And, you know, other servers, other players are, like, totally better than, than other servers, rather. But yeah, same same uh, basic tendencies. Only this one was like not quite as clever. So here we tried to just give up Sente and prove that even if our opponent plays something like this, we can still profit. We could even ignore this right now. Like later on, maybe we could play over here and try to grow. But for now, we could like split, or we could go and we could grow an area, not that. Or we can go and grow an area and we're completely fine. We don't need Senta here because we've got influence that wraps all around the board, right? So we're, we're fine. We're fine with that. Do, 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 do. 
we wanted to be a jerk, we could have also continued to expand because we've gone way too much. Here, we did not respond to the invasion. We just keep taking the large points, keep surrounding our opponent because hashtag surrounding game. Yeah, so I want to point out again too, like if we eventually played what here, he played there, we throw in. If he plays here, we don't really care because he has to go back and play that one. And then what? That's dead. So whatever. If he plays this way, we just do this one into this one because he can't do this. And still dead. So he connects, we can throw in and kill. And uh, this way was okay. After here, I just don't see how he can win though, because, like I said, he just never developed anything on him for himself. He was all about reducing here, all about reducing here, all about reducing here, all about reducing here. None of that actually grew. None of that grew. So many moves. When you don't grow anything, you don't have anything. It's pretty straightforward, right? It's pretty straightforward. So, I hope you enjoy these rather straightforward basics games. As always, I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.